we find that there's two types of electrician in this world, those who love apps and those who don't. And hopefully in this video we can keep both camps happy as we look at these portable label printers from Phoenix Contact. Now, the world of label printing has come a long way now. Remember the days when you either had to order labels to be engraved weeks in advance or you're buying stock labels down at the wholesale counter. Or if you're not a labeler, you'd be scrolling your best handwriting on the label supplied by the consumer unit manufacturer. But in this video, we're gonna show you how you can create almost any label that you'd need for an electrical installation and some other great features. And the one that people always ask us about is how do we put the logo for eFix on the heat shrink that we use. So stick around and we'll show you how we do that. We're gonna look at two versions of the Thermomark printer and both versions come in these handy L boxes, which is a system we wish more manufacturers would use. Uh, the one I've got here is the standalone version here, the GoK, where you enter all of the critical information for the label through the keypad. Or we can use the Thermomark Go, uh, which is uh, app driven. Uh, and we're going to dive in and take a look at the features of each one. Um, the great thing about this range is the commonality between them. They both share the same lithium ion battery, or if you don't want to use the lithium ion battery, you can use regular AA battery cells as well. And you can charge the battery uh, inside the printer. So once that's in there, you should never really need to, uh, to um, open that up again. Um, the labelling materials themselves, bags of room in this box for the different types of material, which ranges from tapes, cable flags, die cut labels, and even heat shrink. Um, the printer itself, if you look at inside there, there's some little contacts at the back that actually reads the information about the consumables you're going to put in using this. Probably reminds you of a, a SIM card or the uh, little chip on your credit card, but just pop that in place. Close the door and then power up. And we are literally ready to go. So the first job we're gonna do with the handheld printer is label up this three-phase distribution board. Uh, well, I'm not gonna actually do it, Rick's gonna do it because he's been learning all the intricacies of the printer. The handheld printer is a great choice for electricians who do a similar type of work day in, day out, such as labeling distribution boards like this. You can design all of the essential labels you need from main switch to those RCD testing labels and store them inside the memory so they're ready to go when you need them. Uh, some other features we like, being able to set a fixed length of label so that all of the labels actually look the same uh, regardless of the actual text uh, length before each individual circuit. There's also bags of symbols in there that will cope with uh, most electrical needs and this has a manual cut option and it doesn't spew out loads of excess material in between labels so you're not going to waste any of the consumables. We can see here why we use the label printer because of Rick's handwriting. So he's uh, all set for a career as a doctor in the future. He just needs to learn how to put labels on straight. We like the little preview feature on the screen here so you can get an idea what the label is going to look like. So to make sure you've imported the right symbol and the length of the label is what you're expecting so you're not wasting materials when it comes to printing. And of course you can alter all the font sizes and different types and orientation. So here we've got a slightly more complicated labeling task. This is a top tier distribution board and inside there there's a combination of DIN rail modules, single, triple and quadruple. Pull the devices, obviously doing different things. We've got surge protection in there. We've got an RCD that's protecting a number of the outgoing MCBs. Um, now, of course, we could do that as individual labels and apply them and try and get them straight. And as we've just seen, that can be a little bit tricky, but we think this is an ideal opportunity to step up to the Thermomark Go. Here, this looks like a desktop version, but you can also get a handy holster as well, so you can hang it around your neck and walk around site with it and look like someone who's collecting fares on a train. Tickets, please. So to create this label here, we use the iPhone app. Android also available. Uh, we built pages within the app that are equal to the size of the DIN rail modules. Then it's simple to then cut and paste different size modules and change the individual uh, lettering on each label and add in symbols uh, where appropriate. So it's great. You can mix and have different sizes of text uh, and even different styles of text uh, as you go through there. Um, and then when it comes to printing, um, 
two choices. You could print them as individual labels, but then you'd still have the challenge then of trying to get them straight on the board. So what we did is print that as then as one batch and then just cut the label at the end of the batch. So we've got this nice long label that's easy to apply. And you could use that approach for residential consumer units. And again, that's where those symbols could come in really handy as well if you want to take your labeling to another level. So we've looked at some big labeling jobs, but what about small labeling jobs where you possibly need to label data sockets or terminals within an enclosure or should we say repetitive jobs where you're using the same label over and over and over and over and over again built into the software you can create serial numbers and do sequential numbers and print them onto die cut labels that are already pre-sized to the ideal label that you need in an application but what if you want to take your labeling to an even higher level and add some really special features including that all important company logo the good news is you can hook both of these printers up to phoenix contacts desktop software and use them almost like a regular printer so you put all of the information you want into your label on the desktop and it comes out of the printer and that is the secret that we use to put the eFix logo on the various items so we can create something perhaps with our logo and a qr code that takes you to an operation and maintenance manual or some instructions for a product and with that feature we can also put the logo onto heat shrink So I really like these versatile label printers from Phoenix Contact. If you'd like to know more information, click on this link here. If you'd like to know some other tools from Phoenix Contact, such as this cable tie tensioning tool, check out this video.